Hey, what is going on guys? It's Wii A Studios and today it is time for me to show you guys how to install emulators on your Nintendo 3DS. As you guys can see, I'm going to be using my old 3DS for this. So as you guys can see, this is the Super NES emulator on an old 3DS. What? I know, that's what I'm saying. So I'm going to teach you guys exactly how you're going to do this. So basically what we're going to do first is we're going to close that out. We're going to go ahead and take our SD card out of our 3DS. Uh, while I'm doing this, I would like to mention to you guys, you guys are going to need a SD card reader, an SD card, homebrew, and con uh, and uh, custom firmware for this, guys. So I'm going to let you guys know, if you do not have custom firmware, go ahead and check out the link in the description to my custom firmware video. Uh, it's gotten a lot of positive feedback, and make sure you follow each and every step exactly how it is presented in the whole video. And keep an eye out for annotations as well. Anyways, now that we have our SD card inside of our computer, we're going to go ahead, go to the desktop, and we're going to open file location. Going to go to our SD card, and here is everything we're going to need. We're going to need, uh, basically, there's going to be a link in the description. It is going to be called uh, well, there's going to be several links in the description. There's going to be for any emulator you guys want. Let's say, for example, uh, you guys want to play a Genesis game or a Super Nintendo game or a Game Boy Advance title. Um, there's going to be these things called injectors. So what these injectors are going to do is they're going to basically inject specific game ROMs onto Nintendo's official emulator. Alright, so basically the first thing we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to go to this link right here. All the links are relatively the same, so they're going to pretty much look exactly like this. So we're going to scroll down until we see download links, and then we're going to go click on the first one usually, and it's going to open up a link that looks like this. We're going to go ahead and click download. This is the GBA one, so that's what we're going to be referring from this one right here. We're going to go to the GBA. Okay, there we go, and it is right here. We're going to go ahead and open that. It's going to come in the form of a zip folder, so we're going to need something to be able to extract it. Usually, Windows itself will be able to extract it. We're going to click extract all. This is going to pop up, and we're going to click extract. There we go, and it should open up automatically. Go ahead and click on ultimate whatever VC injector. We're going to click on run. The first thing it's going to tell you is to open up the ROM file. So we're going to click this right here, and we're going to go through all of our files that we have, and we're going to uh, basically click on the, the game we want to inject. So we're going to, this is a GBA game, so we're going to go ahead and click uh, Mega Man Zero 2. There we go, and it said it was just fine. If it says it's failed right here, make sure it's the GBA file you want. And, uh, yeah, sometimes it fails otherwise, but you can continue if you know that it works. So go ahead and click Next Step, Icon and Name. And all we're going to do here is click on one of these two links right here, Download, and Set Box Art as Icon. You can do that first, or you can do Set Title Screen as Icon. I usually like to do the title screen, so we're going to do the title screen. Or if you want to load up your own custom image, you can click here, and then you can select whatever you want. Just I'll just give an example. Uh, let's see. What's in my pictures? Master Milkshake. So that would be the picture for the icon. But like I said, I like the title screen, so we're going to go with that. Uh, these are just the names. They're really self-explanatory. We're going to go ahead and click on Next Step 3D Banner. This, once again, is absolutely, like, uh, it's not completely necessary to tinker with. You could just click Next Step, which is what we're going to do. This is the part that actually matters, guys. The title ID must be different for every single uh, title you guys inject. So, for example, we could just set it to whatever we want. As you guys can, can see, I literally just pressed a bunch of buttons. It doesn't matter as long as it's completely different from anything you are already installing. So, uh, make sure that this is different every single time you use it. So, now we're just going to click on Finish. We're going to save this into our SD card. So we're going to go to our SD card. We're going to go to CIAs. And then we're going to save it there. CIA created, would you like to open the output folder? We could just click no. It really doesn't matter. Um, but basically, if you guys get an error, uh, it's most likely the game is not compatible. You can still technically inject it, but it will not work properly and it will most likely crash halfway through. Um, I have, you know, it's happened to me before. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and take our SD card out of our computer. Okay, so as you guys can see right here, we're going to go ahead and put it back into our S, uh, into our Nintendo 3DS. Go ahead, do that. Open it up. Now we're going to go to FBI. 
It's going to be right over here for me. There you are. Now we're going to go to SD, then we're going to go to CIAs, and we're going to go ahead and find the emu or find the CIA we have just created. So as you guys can see, Mega Man 02, here it is. We're going to go ahead and press the A button. Going to go press A again on install CIA. Then we're going to go to yes, A. There we go. All right, there we go. We're going to go ahead and go out of this. We're going to keep pressing B until we reach the menu. We're going to hit home. I'm going to cancel out of that. A new title has been added. Go ahead and open that up, guys. And there you go. Now let's just see exactly how it works out. Press A on it. And it may take a few seconds to load up, so we're going to let that load. There we go. You know what's funny is that it actually loaded up faster on my old 3DS as opposed to my new 3DS. That's really sad. If you guys want to see uh, real quick gameplay, you can stick around right now. Or if you want to skip ahead to uh, Super Nintendo Virtual Console, it's a little bit different for that one. Go ahead and click the annotation right here. It has been a year since Zero chose to take a difference. Fuck, I couldn't read it fast enough because I'm a very slow reader. And I cannot read too well, but I will let you know that I can definitely play this game for you. I don't know. No idea what that was, guys. They coming at us. Ah, oh, this music. This music. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. All right, here we go. Charge shot. All right, I haven't played this game in forever, so I... There we go. Perfect. Oh, nice. We got it. Okay, uh, let's do this. So if we hold, if we hold that, then we can, uh, I'm going to see if I can change that real quick. The weapon type. Let's see. Uh, sub weapon. Can I change that? Oh, attack mode. Okay, so. So this is attack mode. Alright, we're gonna select it like that. Alright, let's uh perfect. Alright. Gonna select it just like that. Oh, we're gonna let that guy fall off the building. There you go. Or the mountain or whatever this is. I have no idea what's to come, guys, so alright, let's ooh, we've gotta kill this guy right here. Oh. Yeah, I'm really bad at this game. Can I duck? Fuck, I can't duck. I thought I could. What the hell? I died to the first guy. Shut up. Why is it telling me something about Windows 10 right now? I have Windows 10 already. Alright guys, so that's actually going to be the gameplay right here. Yes, I suck at this game. I'll definitely pick this game up more though, because this game is ridiculously fun. I used to play when I was a little bit younger. Um, but anyways, now I'm going to teach you guys how to install Super Nintendo games onto your Nintendo 3DS. Um, now here's the thing guys, you can install Super Nintendo Virtual Console on your, Nintendo th on your old 3DS, but it will not open up. Basically, the old 3DS uh, is not powerful enough to run um, Super Nintendo Virtual Console. However... You can play, as you guys can saw in the, in the beginning of the video, you guys can use a real emulator called uh, SNES 9X, and it will work perfectly fine for most of your SNES games. So I'm going to teach you guys real quick how to install SNES 9X on your old Nintendo 3DS. Once again, it is going to require custom firmware, even though this one does have a homebrew counterpart. So this one, technically, you don't need custom firmware for it. Um, but we're going to be using the custom firmware in this part. So go ahead, take out your SD card, and we're going to begin our tutorial, guys. So put it inside of your adapter like this. There we go. 
and go ahead and put it inside of your computer. So now once again we are at the computer part, we can go ahead and close out this, 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 and we're going to go to the next link in the description. It is going to be uh, this one right here. It is going to look exactly like this guys. Go ahead and click clone or download and click download zip. There we go. Now go ahead and open up the zip folder. There we go. We're going to click on this and then we're going to look for SNES 9X underscore 3DS dot CIA. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our SD cards files right here and we're going to go into the CIA's folder. There we go. And now we're going to drag and drop this into here. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and that's pretty much it. What you guys are also going to, I'm going to say this right now too because I know a lot of you guys are going to ask, um, ROMs. Now, for the Super Nintendo, there you can select different types of ROMs. I have my own ROMs folder right here, which you guys can see. Um, basically, what you guys want to do is you want to create a ROMs folder on the root of your SD card. Honestly, it doesn't matter if you do or not. It's just re re recommended so you guys are able to find the ROMs easily. So uh, we're going to uh, put in Donkey Kong Country, which you guys saw in the beginning of this video, onto the folder. So I'm going to go to here. No, 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 not there. I'm going to go here, 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 uh, SNES, and Donkey Kong Country 3 is right there. So we're literally just going to drag and drop our ROM inside of there. And once we do that, now we're going to be able to take our SD card out of our PC. So go ahead and take it out. And now we're going to go back to the Nintendo 3DS. Take it out right there and put it back in your 3DS. There we go. Perfect. Open up your 3DS. Once again, we're going back to FBI, guys. It's bugging me not have my system menu work or my uh, theme working right now. So I'm going to do this real quick. It still doesn't want to work. I think maybe I have to reinstall it. Oh, well. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go to FBI. Pretend that I didn't have the SNES, guys. So go to FBI, go to A, insert your PIN, and press OK. All right, now it's going to open up, and we're going to go ahead and go to SD, CIAs, and we're going to navigate to the SNES 9X file, which is down here, right there. Uh, it looks like this one doesn't have a uh, an icon up here. Don't worry about that. Go ahead, press A, and press A on install CIA, then press A again. Uh, it's only one megabyte. It is very small. Do not worry. And that's pretty much it. There, there, there. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to hit the home menu, close, and it's closing. Now you guys will get a notification that you have a new channel, um, and you will open up this right here. So what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to press A. All right, guys. So once it is opened up for you, it will look basically like this. You guys are just going to scroll down until you hit your ROMs folder or wherever you put your ROMs. And then you're just going to simply select a game. I'm going to select... I showed off Donkey Kong Country 2 in the beginning, or 3 in the beginning. Let's uh, see a different one. Mega Man X. Let's do that. Because we did uh, the GBA Mega Man, so why not? I just put that together right now. As you guys can see, this is the old, uh, this is the old 3DS. All right, and let's just do a uh, test real quick. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not too great at uh, Mega Man X either, guys. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. There we go, we got him. 
Man, stop freaking doing that. That's rude. All those construction workers put so much effort into making that. To making that right there. We're just going to get up to the uh, first section of the boss, which is, I think, right here. He's like a little bee guy. There you go. Whoa. All right. And that's going to be uh, my showcase for you guys right there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys like the video, make sure to give it a like. And make sure you guys subscribe for more videos. If you uh, like this video, give it a share as well. Make sure you share it with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next video.